Hey, what's up y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I shot several hours of video doing tape removal on Noah's copy of Superman number nine. When I did it, I did not record regular intros and outros because I wanted to minimize the total amount of time that the comic was in the solvent. And I wasn't sure exactly how I'd present it to you. At first I thought maybe I'd show it to you at some kind of accelerated speed, 4X or 8X. But as I was thinking about it and as I was doing it, I realized because that work really needs to be done very slowly, I didn't want to present it to you sped up and give you anybody the impression that the work could be done or should be done quickly. I thought later about editing some of it out, but many of you have told me that what you love about my videos is the sort of gory detail that I go into. Um, as much as maybe it puts some people to sleep, others are really want to see every step because they want to try to do these, these techniques themselves. So what I've done is I've edited those hours into bite-sized chunks, and this is going to be your intro for all of them. Please remember that we have a giveaway every month. Link to that is at the bottom of the description. If you're enjoying this video series, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And lastly, if you are going to try any of these techniques out and you need to buy some materials, please use the Amazon affiliate links down in the description. Also helps the channel out. So enjoy. And until next time, take care of one another. Now I believe that's all the carrier on this side of the book. There's still adhesive here. I think this is just adhesive here. I think we already removed this carrier. Yep. I'm just looking at it with incident light. See if I can see any more carrier anywhere. And I don't. So let's put that Holly text back on top and see if we can flip it over and make sure we don't have any additional carrier on the other side. As I mentioned before, water actually gets right into the paper molecules and that's why it weakens the paper so dramatically it's because of the actual chemical chemically what's happening when water enters the paper well i guess it's mechanical but it doesn't happen um with these solvents to the same degree and so this, I think if we were dealing with this as it's wet, this would for sure just come apart because this is so thin and pulpy. But this solvent, we can actually keep this li these little bridges, I think, intact, um, especially if we keep it on the Holitex and, and control it. Okay, so I want to remove this Holitex very slowly because remember, we removed the carrier for most of this, but we did not get all of the adhesive off. So if I'm, if I'm not careful, 
there's an opportunity for the Holytex to stick to the adhesive and for that adhesive to take paper with it. So I go very slowly here. And I'm going to continue to keep this nice and wet with our solvent. And we left one piece of carrier up here. I think everything else is gone. And it's this piece right up here. Where we were so concerned because it was, no matter what angle we came at, it was very difficult to take the carrier and not take the paper with it. And this number nine was just like I was talking about on the other side. The ink is refusing to stay in the paper. And it, it may be that it's just already left the paper. That the ink is up in the adhesive and that it is going to be coming with the carrier. And as we discussed before, that's a shame. You want to save everything, obviously, but you especially want to save important identifying features of the book. Superman's face, logo, his body, this area here, the logo here, and the number. You know, this is old enough. Most people don't recognize this cover. You really, it's important to show them this is number nine. So this is why we've left this to the last and why we're going to do everything we can to try and preserve that. And we'll see what can be done. As I recall, we've already worked from this direction. I'm going to reposition this a little bit to keep so that I'm not working inside one of those ridges. I'm working on one of the, one of the, I guess, ridges, not the valley, so that I can apply pressure if I need to. Like we talked about before, you see, when I peel that up, you, you already see that that yellow is coming with it. That's a layer of paper that, again, was removed previously. We're not doing it. I'm going to see if I can't get behind it somehow and push it back down, essentially, so that when we, we can pull tape further. But... It's a tough road to hoe. Like we talked about before. Sometimes you can come at a slightly different angle. Sort of get behind it. Work backwards. This paper's just already gone. It's very sad. I 
would not expect this edge over here to be our salvation since this is the edge that is where the paper is the weakest. But again, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you're surprised by this 80-year-old paper. So I'm willing to try anything to try and save this logo or this number. can see it's essentially already all removed. There isn't much I can do here, boys and girls, unfortunately. Our best bet is going to be to try to come back and maybe take this off of the carrier and reapply it somehow. So that's the best we're going to be able to do there. All right, now we have all the carrier off. The next step is to remove as much of the adhesive as we can in this state. And again, we use this scraper tool to do that. Um, the best tool for feeling the adhesive is just your finger. It's tacky when there's still adhesive there. This we already scraped and there's a little bit of adhesive, but not that much, I think. That'll be easier to deal with later. This area has not yet been scraped. So we can kind of start wherever we want. We know that this whole area had tape on it, but it's actually not super tacky. I can feel the adhesive along this edge more. I've placed the holly text directly onto my work surface so that we can have something that is really flat. It is still damp with Bestine, and I'm gonna keep it that way. And I'm just gonna come back and visit all the areas where we had carrier in an attempt to remove any adhesive that's left. Remember we had a tear right here so I'm being careful to work along the lines of the tear and to not allow the weakness of the paper there be something that interferes with what I'm trying to do. We'll see. I'm getting... Even though we had already taken adhesive off in this area, there's still a little bit. And it is coming off nicely. And now it's time to put a little bit more and this is the next step of the process also tedious like the last step was but necessary like the last step was to get us to our end goal having a nicely conserved book for generations to come.
I don't know about you, but I sure would like to be able to go back in time and maybe just make a gentle suggestion to the person that put the tape on here. Yeah, maybe even a not so gentle suggestion. That maybe what they're doing is not a very good idea. When I do this work, I often load the solvent into a syringe just so I can really place it exactly where I want it because it is volatile. It does dry really quickly and you don't want to be working the paper, trying to work the solvent off the paper when it's dry. I'm just barely gliding this tool over the paper. And when it's wet, you can do that reasonably in terms of it's safe for the paper. But once it dries, that adhesive will grab your tool or grab the paper and you can tear the paper quite easily. All right, well, I think that's enough for today. We're going to continue this work of it removing the adhesive. If you want to try any of these techniques out and you need to purchase some materials, I have links in the description for the best suppliers on Amazon for these tools that I've found. And if you enjoy this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, we have lots more work to do, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Till then, take care of one another.